God. I greet the church with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to invite the brother to stand up and to read the word of the Lord. It's in First Peter. First Peter chapter one. First First Peter chapter one, second verse. Glory to Jesus. Verse 2. Let's wait so everyone will be able to find it. Amen. Amen. Is here on the projection. First Peter. Chapter 1, verse 2 says the following. Elected according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, Grace to you and peace be multiplied. Thank you, God, for the word that has been read. Lord, apply your revelation in our hearts. Give us our blessing. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may sit down. My brother, we are elected for blessing. We are here tonight because of this election. Amongst many, amongst many people, the Lord has elected us, he elected each one of us to be in His presence, receive a blessing from His eternity. We're not deserving of this blessing, we're not deserving of this love, of this care from the Lord, but He loved us first, he loved you, he loved me, he loved your life, to give a blessing. We have been elected by the Lord, elected, but so great salvation. And when we see the word of the Lord, when we go back to the beginning of all things, when the Lord is there, in the beginning, Genesis, making all things, earth, and everyone there is in the earth, God comes to the crowning of His creation, which is man. Is the crowning of God's creation. That's what the word that the Lord says to us. We are the crowning creation of God. And the Lord creates all things, and creates man and all his creation, and places man in the garden of Eden, gives this blessing to man, places man in the garden of Eden. Everything there was for man. And the only thing that out of all the things that was in the garden, God just gave a, an order to the to men it would be for men not to eat of the fruit that was in, of the tree in the middle of the garden. That's the only thing that he needed to do, is obedience. But men didn't hear the voice of the Lord, chose to hear another voice, and now he fails and he loses this blessing. And man becomes a slave to sin is shackled by the, the sin and the world. Man is uh, imprisoned by the things of the, the world and loses so great blessings because the joy of the Lord would be to spend every afternoon speaking with man, having this contact with God, wanted to have this contact with His creation. God wanted to know how He was and His desires. And that was the blessing of God for man's life. A man goes astray from the Lord, loses this blessing. But the word of the Lord also says that God loves this world in such a way that He sent His only begotten Son that, so that whoever believes may not perish but have eternal life. He sends His only Son, He sends Jesus to die for me, die for, me, for you, to die for our lives. And as I said, we do not have any right, have no right to this great blessing, this great salvation. But God loves us first. He loved your life and my life. And when you speak about election, uh, elect according to foreknowledge of God, we have been elected before eternity. Can you imagine, my brother? 
before the foundation of all things, we have already all been elected by the Lord. God already knew us from eternity, according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, and the whole sanctification of the Spirit for obedience. A man disobeys the voice of God. A man disobeys something that was so simple to obey. My brethren, there is a purpose for everything in God's plan. God did made us um, um, uh, uh, God gave us uh, free will to choose if we go the left or the right. God gave us free will. It would have been easy for us to make us um, puppets and place us wherever He wanted us to be. No, God allowed us to choose what I want and you to choose what you want. God gave us this blessing to choose. The choice are ours to make. If you want to be in the presence of God, if you or if you want to be in prison, the world, we choose it. But the Holy Spirit has spoken to the hearts in the last hour, has spoken to many hearts. There is such a great salvation. Is a change for man's life. There's a God that can change all things and He can transform the man's life. But after accepting the Lord Jesus, man has to live in obedience, live a life in obedience in the presence of the Lord. And the word says it's better to obey than to sacrifice. It's better to obey, to be, to live in obedience, to hear the voice of the Lord, what the Lord has for our lives, what the Lord has for your life. And we understand that when we live in obedience, the blessing comes upon our lives. The grace and peace may be multiplied. So grace and peace, the blessing of God, is multiplied in our lives. When we obey the voice of the Lord, when we obey what the Lord wants for our lives, the blessing of the Lord is upon each one of us. Because that's what the Lord has for His people. That's what the Lord the Lord has for His people and it's His blessing. Not only to obey the voice of the Lord, but understand what God has for your life and to know, God, what is your purpose for my life? I was imprisoned. I was shackled to the world. I had a weight tied up on my food, but you took me away from the cross of the enemy. And now, what is your will for my life, Lord? What do you want me to do? And the Lord has a blessing for your heart. God has a blessing for our life. And our greatest blessing is an eternity. Eternity with the Lord. This world on this earth, everything passes by. Every value, every money, everything that we are able to achieve in this world, car, house, it passes by. The, the, our greatest desire, our dream, what we desire every day is that our daily struggle is to be in the presence of the Lord because one day we'll be there in eternity with God, praising the Lord every day. My brethren, the Lord tonight has shown a sister that came with her heart broken into pieces. She feels broken up inside and she has very little strength left and faith left. She stays in her house in prayer and she tries to keep up appearance and is that she's okay, but the Lord is now renewing her strength and also God will give a blessing to her husband, delivering him. This, sir, this sister is living in obedience of the Lord. Um, in obedience of the Holy Spirit, grace and peace, your blessing is being multiplied in your life. The Lord is now multiplying your blessings, giving strength, renewing your strength, so that you can walk in the presence of the Lord. And also, your entire family is also receiving this blessing from the part of the Lord. And that's what the Lord has given us every day, giving so, so great salvation. It's difficult. It's not easy, my brother. Every day, we fight for the salvation, and Lord, as Lord, give us your grace, give us strength. We're not, we're nothing, Lord. Without you, we're nothing. Without you, we are not, not able to. We don't have strength, but you have given us strength every day. 
Higgins strength. You have helped us, Lord. Taken us by the hand, Lord. Uh, the Lord tells you, come that I will help you and together we will be victorious. That's the word of the Lord for us tonight. Let us praise the name of the Lord with a song. to the Lord. 
praise because you are king. Because we can only trust in you, Lord. Praise you because you answer to our needs. Thank you for you answer the promise to our lives. You praise for the eternity. We're going to be soon with you, Lord. Soon we're going to leave this world. We praise for everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Did you um, speak about the two spiritual gifts or one? The Lord also has shown in another spiritual gift. And this other spiritual gift the Lord has shown a man that has been delivered from a prison. He was rescued from a prison. And when he left the prison, he would get involved with people of his own nationality. He would get mixed with these people. And there would come agents to searching for this man. But those agents were not able to recognize amongst those who were with him. And there he would remain free from that prison. And we see that this spiritual gift, this deliverance, was an action of, of God in favor of this man. And that's what God does with each one of us, delivering us, freeing us, taking us from out of sin and from the claws of Pharaoh and places, placing us on a path, as the brother said. Now the process of sanctification is what causes man to know and to walk in obedience to God. And that's what God does. When man enters, and onto this path and he knows Jesus the Holy Spirit begins to work on his life and now in sanctification he begins now to pray to walk in obedience to the Lord the disobedience removes man from the path but now in sanctification man begins to walk once again in obedience to God having experiences with pleading to the blood and with the word knowing the mysteries of God and knowing the benefits of salvation in favor of man. Amen. So here is this word for, to, for each one of us. Each one of us were, was delivered once in order for us to remain free and delivered from the claws of the enemy, the prince of this world. We need to walk in sanctification and seeking um, closeness with God. Let's pray, beginning closing the service. Lord, we want to praise your name for your word, for the spiritual gifts that have been sent from eternity, for each praise that was sang here, for each prayer that was spoken here, Lord. We praise you, Lord, because we can feel your presence in this place. And your presence brings joy to us to be in your presence, Lord brings joy to our hearts and that's why we want tonight to surrender to you our gratitude and gratitude to you for your deeds in favor of our lives take us home in peace lord and receive our offering to you is a prayer that we say in the name of jesus in your name we say the wonderful grace of our lord and savior jesus christ the love of god our eternal father the sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit be poured out upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. The church may be seated. We want to just inform the brethren that tomorrow in the morning we're going to close the month with the activities of the children that we had doing the promotions. Tomorrow, at the end of the month, We'll all be here. The church is conclaimed to be here. It's a celebration of our children. It's a conquest for us to see our children growing, uh, see our ch children evolving, coming closer to the Lord, so that they may choose always to be on the path with the Lord. Tomorrow morning, we'll all be here. Um, inform the teachers, have you taken pictures? No. Amen. And um, I say the peace of the Lord to everyone.
If you want to desire prayer, we are here at your disposal. Tomorrow at 10.30, we'll be here together for Sunday school.